Mr. Mishkan, these are my partners, uh, Shahzeb and Yasser. Today we will be discussing about uh, HTC. HTC was a brand which was in our hands, in our youth hand when we were small. Uh, we, everyone had an HTC in their hands and uh, HTC in, our, uh, in everyone's hand. The, the question was from everyone, why did HTC uh, is right now, where is HCC right now, where it has been. Because HCC was in everyone's hand when uh, in 2010 or 2012, uh, it was like the most successful phone in, pa in Pakistan, we can see in Pakistan it was very success uh, successful. And Samsung was on its uh, uh, like comparison. They, uh, they both were uh, competitors and we all thought where the HCC would be right now in our past. But we all can see HCC is nowhere to be found. HCC, the, uh, the full name of HCC is High Tech Corporation, which, uh, which uh, no one knows about, and I just found out today. Uh, now, uh, the founder is Sherrod uh, Bang. Uh, I don't know its co founder or its uh, name, so sorry for uh, the misinformation from me. Uh, she was born in 1958 uh, in Taiwan and graduated from the uh, University of California. The next year, she joined a Taiwan firm, uh, FIC, the first international computer. And there, she uh, learned uh, much about business and uh, operations. Many years later, in 1997, Chair Wang uh, had found, uh, had the design to start her own company out of this HTC high tech company was born. So why the HTC is so influential company and that can be because of their net function. Peter Kia was the CEO of uh, the company in 2004 to 2015 because uh, he was a uh, perfectionist. He was known as a perfectionist. Uh, his tactics and uh, decision making rose HTC into the next level. The company, uh, the HTC company is most influential in his uh, niche at that time. The for, uh, the for why HTC is nowhere uh, now? Because of uh, his R&D team, research and development team. Research, uh, uh, at that time, uh, Samsung enters in the market, launches it on board and relevant that come to uh, his niche. Okay, so as we move on, this is this and modern. Okay, so what was the reason behind the HTC was that as people saw was very uh, automatic person, the viewers know they taking the decisions for the management, it was overruling them. That was one of the biggest reasons that that's why HTC fall. After that, as uh, in 2019, uh, Ikin Maria come and he took over a, a, a company and he started rebuilding that company and start doing and uh, making a better future for the HTC. In 2021, uh, HTC began its uh, production and profits. It was the uh, 80% uh, before that in 2022. Okay, so now, as you know that as a, a HTC was the largest maker of the Android seller and it was one of the biggest sellers of the United States of the mobile, seller, mobile phones. Okay, so now as the HTC was, as we can know that that will be impressive as the HTC rise and now uh, as, as it is it rise, it also falls very quickly because HTC was very like, they were not uh, like, they were giving the quality but in the modern era, they were following a traditional, a traditional strategy which was not applied in the modern world because if you have a quality but you are not standing and you are not representing yourself very clearly in the market so people will not be able to forget you. And after that, now HTC is trying to build a new phone which is a uh, 5G model and they are trying to build it. That's all for us. Thank you so much.